This does give you a good idea of where the automotive industry is heading, where the electric car industry is heading. CATL have won the most prestigious battery award this year. And well, you can probably guess for what battery it was. It's their new lithium iron phosphate batteries. They're pretty amazing. However, I did make a video recently on some lithium iron phosphate batteries, which appear to be even more impressive. I'll put a link to the golden battery video in the description below, it's from Geely. Hello, my friends, welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans, you're watching The Electric Viking. It's great to see you. CATL received the Techno Best 2024 award for its Shenzhen battery from an international jury panel. So international jury, not really from China, from people, basically automotive experts all over the world. Here's what they said about the battery. CATL launched Shenzhen, the world's first 4C, as in super fast charging, lithium iron phosphate battery capable of delivering 400 kilometers of driving range with a 10 minute charge, as well as a range of over 700 kilometers on a single charge. In other words, it's the fastest charging lithium iron phosphate battery that's currently in any EVs. Well, it'll be overtaken very soon, but it's currently the fastest. It's able to handle extremely cold temperatures and it has actually quite high energy density. It's pretty amazing. You can really see why it won. This is what they continue to say. Shenzhen is expected to considerably alleviate fast charging anxiety for EV users and opens up an era of EV super fast charging. Focusing on the very nature of electrochemistry, CATL continues its innovation in material and electrochemistry and system structure in an all around way. Achieving super fast charging, high energy density, and a high level of safety at the same time in a creative manner. Shenzhen pushes beyond the boundaries of the performance of lithium iron phosphate chemistry, leading innovation in the battery industry. Now, interestingly, curiously, some might say the award did not go to any solid state battery manufacturers. It certainly didn't go to Toyota's so called um, imaginary solid state batteries. It went to a real product that's already been manufactured now. You can buy cars in China with these batteries today. If there was solid state batteries on the market today with their what they say they can do, how much better would they actually be than these batteries? That's the thing. By the time solid state batteries do hit the market, there's already semi solid state batteries which aren't really any better than these. But by the time actual full solid state hit the market, how good will lithium ion phosphate chemistry be? I mean, imagine how good these batteries will be in five years from now. These companies are not sitting around and just saying, hey, we've got a product that's great, buy it, and just doing nothing. They're continually improving the product. Autobest is a jury made up of, interestingly, 31 jury members from European countries. So this is not China at all. And they've been giving out awards in this industry for actually 22 years, so since 2001. If you want to know more about this battery technology, which is pretty amazing, and I believe it will be in Tesla vehicles next year. Tesla is, I believe, waiting for ramp up. CATL just can't produce enough of these batteries right now for Tesla to really sell them. Uh, be like Tesla saying, oh, uh, you can only, some of our cars can have them, but only a small percentage. It just doesn't make sense. CATL are currently ramping them up. And I believe that's what Tesla are waiting for in order to use these lithium ion phosphate batteries in probably the Tesla Model Y Juniper version, which is available around the middle of next year. However, you can already buy EVs in China, one in particular from Zika, which already has this battery pack in it right now. But yeah, CATL, they're really in that ramp up phase. They're not manufacturing many packs yet. Next year is the year though. Guys, let me know what you think on this about this technology. Is this something that will influence your EV buying decisions? Do you agree with me about solid state batteries? Do you think LFP, you know, by 2030, if it's improving at say 5% per year, is solid state ever going to make a dent on the industry? I don't think they will.